In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Yulanzi AM18 wireless microphone setup and see why everybody is raving about it. So in the box, we get a charging case and inside the charging case, we get the two wireless microphones and one receiver. When you lift the lid on the charging case, both the microphones and the receiver power on automatically. In the box, you also get all the necessary cables, a very nice carrying pouch, a couple of bags of sticky back gaskets that we'll touch upon later in the video, and two wind muffs for each of the microphones. So that's everything that you get in the box, but the real test for these microphones is taking them out and seeing how they sound. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find out what everybody is raving about. So we've come outside to test the Lanzi microphones, the AM18. At the moment, we've not got them attached. We're using the onboard microphones on the Sony A7C. So that's what you're listening to at the moment. And what we're going to do in three, two, one is switch over to the Lanzi's right now and now we've got the Yulanzi AM18 wireless microphone here I'm going to attach it to myself as you can see we've got the uh, wind muff attached there's about a 10 mile an hour wind at the moment blowing over my left hand shoulder but let's attach it to myself so we've connected the microphone to myself very simply with the back clip that's on the microphone I'm going to start heading backwards and then we'll see if there's any type of connection issues when I turn my back to the camera and how far away roughly I can get before we get any kind of connection issues. So let's do that right now. So I'm just going to talk as I walk here. Now it's been raining heavy here in the UK so if I slip over this is going to be some comedy gold. Hopefully I don't. Uh, yes, but let me know in the comment section below what you think to the audio coming from these microphones. Oh, what I'll tell you I'm going to do, I'm going to turn back towards the camera now. I'm probably about 20 metres away. And hopefully you're going to let me know in the comment section below what you think the audio sounds like with these microphones. Now the wind muff that comes with this microphone is very easy to attach. You push it on and rotate it 90 degrees and it locks into position. What I'm going to do now is remove the wind muff and aim the microphone at the wind to see what it sounds like with the wind muff removed. And the wind's coming directly into my face now. Hopefully you can still see me just about on the camera. Uh, but this is the sound quality you'll get without the wind muff on. Let me put the wind muff back on. And this is with the wind muff back on. So you can tell whether the wind muff is making a big difference or not. Let me know in the comment section. But I'm going to carry on walking further back. I'm not sure how far you're going to be able to see me on the camera. Or whether the camera is even picking up the audio from the microphone to the receiver. But we're going to head on back and we'll see how far we can go. I would say I'm probably 50 to 75 metres away now. It's very hard to judge. It looks quite small. Hopefully you can see me in the camera still. Hopefully I'm not out of shot. Let me move this way a little bit so I'm more in line with the camera. Hopefully you can see me. I would say we're a good 80 metres now from the camera. I'm not too sure why you would want audio this far away from your camera. But if this still sounds good, then these microphones are awesome. So let me know in the comments what you think to them. But let me give you some reviews and my thoughts on them once I go back indoors. Now, just before we go back indoors, I'm going to show you one cool feature that I've just remembered on these AM18 Yulanzi microphones. And that's the built-in recorder in the microphone itself. So what I can do, I can hit this button on the side of the uh, microphone here. It starts recording directly onto the internal storage of the microphone. And that means now we can unplug the receiver on top of the camera and then line up our audio in post. So let me unplug the receiver now. Now that's the cable there. Hopefully you can see that if the camera picks it up. So the receiver is no longer plugged into the camera. We're recording straight into the internal memory inside the microphone now. And what's going to happen is in post, I'm going to just line up the audio over the footage so there's no break in the audio. But again, let me know in the comments what you think to the sound quality of these microphones. And let's continue the review indoors. So this was the setup we were just using outside with the Sony A7C and the Ulanzi wireless microphone. And at the end, we unplugged the receiver, meaning that our audio file wasn't being recorded directly onto our video file. We could have taken away the receiver from our setup and recorded directly onto our microphone's internal storage and then just lined up the audio as previously mentioned. 
This way of recording audio and then adding it later to your video is especially useful if you record using an action camera and you don't want to compromise your devices by adding audio adapters or mounting the receiver to the top of your action camera. Simply press the button on the side of the microphone to start recording to the internal storage on the device. And then when you come to edit your video, you simply lay the audio file over the top of the video file. Another great feature that's built into each of the microphones is the 3.5mm microphone jack. This is fantastic for attaching a lavalier microphone to yourself, then having the microphone unit stored away in your pocket so that it's out of view. On the side of the microphone transmitter, we have a power button that if you hold in for two seconds, turns off your device. Holding it in for two seconds turns back on the device and it automatically goes into pairing mode with your receiver. And on the same side as our power button, we also get a plus and minus button to adjust the volume of our record level. On the opposite side of both microphones, we get the record start and stop button for recording internally, plus a USB-C port for attaching to a device for accessing the audio files. So we've now looked at the microphone units, but let's take a look at the receiver. On the front of the receiver, we have a small LCD panel with all the information that we require in terms of battery levels, audio levels, etc. We also have the same clip that's found on the microphones on the rear of the receiver. And it's worth pointing out that this clip will slide into cold shoe mounts. On the side of the receiver, we have a lock button so that you don't accidentally touch or adjust any of the level settings and a USB-C port. On the opposite side, we have a 3.5mm headphone socket and a 3.5mm output socket. The small LCD screen on the front of the receiver is a touch screen and you swipe down to access all of your settings. In here, you can adjust the mono, stereo, volume, gain, language, etc. And the two buttons to the side of the screen are mute buttons for each of the microphones and charging the units is as simple as putting them back in the charging case. We get to see how much power is left in the charging case by the four LED lights on the front of the case. And to recharge the case, all you have to do is plug in your supplied USB-C cable. The wireless microphone setup was instantly recognized when plugging it into a DJI Action 4 via USB-C cable. And the same thing applied to my Android mobile phone. Now in the box you get three small bags of different thickness gaskets. And these are to remove the play that you might find when mounting your receiver or microphones into a cold shoe adapter. Simply apply one of the gaskets to the rear clip on your microphones or receiver. And then when you mount your unit into your cold shoe mount, you have removed all the play from the device. So why is everybody buying the Yolanzi AM18 wireless microphones? Maybe because it comes included with a charging case? Maybe it's because of the dual microphones? Maybe it's because the microphones automatically pair with the receiver? Maybe because it comes with all the included cables and a carrying pouch? Maybe because it comes as standard with gaskets so there's no play in your cold shoe mount? Maybe it's because it comes supplied with two wind muffs for each of the microphones. Or maybe it's because of all of this and the incredible sound quality that you get from these microphones. Or maybe it's the fact that all of this comes in this package for under 100 US dollars, which is just mind boggling. I will leave a link to these microphones in the description and in the top comment so you can check all the specs and data for yourself. And if you've got anything at all from this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see further videos from myself, hit that subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We're going to catch up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you soon.